Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace. This is our third pronunciation training, so if you haven't watched the other two videos, you can go through them first because I talked about some basics in them. In this video, I'm gonna directly cut into the chest. Okay, let's go. First of all, I'm gonna introduce the most basic sounds out of the three consonants, that is s, s. Okay, let's see the IPA of s to know how to pronounce it correctly. The IPA of s is this one. Yes, it's the same form as that in pinyin. And this sound can be made in two different ways. One of them is like this. You put the tip of your tongue close to the upper front teeth and then let the airflow go through your mouth to make the s sound. Let's practice. S, s, s. Another way to create the s sound is by putting your tongue blade close to your upper front teeth to create the hissing effect. And in this case, your tongue tip is pointed down, different from the other way. Okay, let's practice. S, s, s. Personally, when pronouncing s with a back vowel, such as u or u, I use the second way in which my tongue t points down to create the s sound because that's much easier. For example, so yi, so yi, yan se. 颜色, because you don't have to bother moving the tip of your tongue. Okay, the next one is 滋, 滋. The idea of 滋 is this. I guess you already know what I'm going to say. You see the T here, right? It means that you need to, yes, block the air first. And the S here means that after you block the air, your tongue position will be the same as 思, which we just learned. Okay, let me show you the pictures. First, you need to let your tongue tip stick to your upper front teeth and then let the air go through your mouth. But at this moment, because the tip of your tongue is blocking the way, the air cannot come out. After a very short period of time, then you put down the tip of your tongue a bit to let the air out to say zi, zi. Okay, let's practice. Zi. Z, z. Finally, the last one, c, c. The IPA of c is this. Yes, it's the same patterns as was in the previous videos. There is an extra small h here. It means the airflow coming out of your mouth is stronger. Everything else is just the same as z. So let's look at the picture again. First, you let the tip of your tongue stick to the upper front teeth and you let the stronger airflow go through your mouth but not come out. Then the next step is to put down the tip of your tongue a bit to let the air out to say c. Okay, let's practice. C, c, c. Okay, finishing learning these sounds, let's do some practice with words. First, let's practice z and s. The difference is that when pronouncing z, you have to let the tip of your tongue stick to the upper front teeth and block the air first. Okay, let's start. Z s, z s, z s, xuan zi, xuan zi, xuan zi, zi se. 紫色, 紫色. Next, let's practice 紫 and 紫. Do you remember the difference? It's that when pronouncing 紫, the airflow is stronger than pronouncing 紫. 早餐, 早餐, 早餐. 存在, 存在, 存在. 自从, 自从, 自从. Okay, that's all the practice for today. And I have a good news for you guys. I will upload another video about listening trainings this Friday. So remember to hit the little bell so you won't miss that. 
And by the way, I've prepared a handout of this lesson. You can find the link to the file down below. I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.